know what's happening r 50 fam i think i can address everybody that way happy uh thursday afternoon here in pacific northwest we're getting some good weather but uh all crap aside um i think i kind of wrapped up the molly panels for the exterior so i wanted to give everybody a look um how they look you guys feel free to ask any questions a lot of them are covered a lot of times on youtube videos bud nixon bud like the beer and nixon like the president guys instagram same thing not that i'm trying to advertise myself just a lot of questions a lot of times come in and i just simply not able to answer all of them so this is the reason why i do the video because it answers a lot of many people's questions because number one question during the process keep in mind when i'm dating the pictures online um they're not necessarily up to date so they're just kind of a pictures of the process so this could probably be riveted obviously this is made to slide on it a little bit that goes right into the channel and i'm still utilizing the brackets which one of the members suggested that a t-bolt or t-nut could be used in that channel in there and i'm researching that part so the difficulty here or the cost should i say will be coming from this is that this needs to be made of at least 100 thickness of aluminum or even a one eighth. This is 100. Um, so there's forming to it other than cutting it. So there's basically much more process involved in just like making this one. So this one just gets cut and then these brackets get sent to you as the buyer and then you figure out as far as the angles of bending them and where you wanna position because everybody wants to do it differently. Some rivet them like I do. Um, some will put that on the bolt nut hardware it doesn't matter which way you do it both ways work both weights uh, both ways are right to you but um these panels you know just a matter of cutting them um and i don't have to really do anything with them now these guys here the reason for pricing here higher pricing at least that's what i try to keep the price at the reasonable level where i'm gonna have to form them then those brackets up top here will have to get formed now keep in mind because of the form brackets and not just the flat parts we're talking about higher shipping rates most likely both package will be bigger um, also i recommend using two of these rem mounts so those are not familiar feel free to ask i'll put a post uh, link on amazon these are 15 bucks each so that's just 30 dollars in just those two now look at me pulling on this guy and this thing ain't moving nowhere literally i mean it's it's moving like this and me yanking on it but this thing will hold 20 30 pounds probably a lot of guys you will see mount their like a two gallon fuel cans on there uh two gallon fuel can that's what like 10 pounds no or is it 10 kilos something like that right i mean it's, it's a lot of weight uh molly panels appreciate everybody purchasing these they're very useful i know for a fact a lot of well at least for a fact i know that most guys that have bought them they all say they love them um this is one of three ever made. There's two other guys that bought these. I haven't heard from the buyers um, as far as what's going on, but this is pretty easy to mount. Now, this one is very complicated as far as milling because there's a lot of forming that goes into it. This gets bent the right way to uh, uh, go in here. Um, there's a little bit bending here, a little bit bending on this part because this whole thing basically goes into your factory hardware. Um, there's some bending here under the third light here or the cyclop light whatever brake light um, and this thing will pop open with the glass too very convenient if you know what you're getting yourself into so um, just a video of explaining what's going on and what can be done whatever yeah, i'm putting this thing in the background to give you guys an idea what it looks like um, design can be updated where i can mill so these four points were milled specifically to mount that uh was it Apache case 3800? I think that's sold at Harbor Freight Tools. Um, but this could be done in any way. And I'm thinking if you guys want, feel free to comment. If you guys want to see like an R15 here, I can mill that into there as well. Take one of the cells out and put an R15 there. I don't know, just, you know, some personalization um, for our, our 15 enthusiasts, so to speak, right? Appreciate everybody's good comments on this rig. Served well, done well. Um, if there's any parts that you guys want me to cover on a separate YouTube video, let me know. That could be done. She needs a little maybe of paint love, but so far so good. Everything's been good. Love the rig. 
only thing I don't like about this sun of gun is guzzly. It, uh, in my opinion, it's as much fuel as a V8 does, but it doesn't have the V8 power to it. I mean, it's still powerful, but um, could do a little better. So take care. Hopefully everybody has a good Thursday and a happy coming weekend. And we'll see you on the next one, I guess, on the next post. Take care.